Hi, I'm Larry Angolfano with Aviation Consumer Magazine. It's easy to confuse the MaxViz EVS, which stands for Enhanced Vision System, with Synthetic Vision, otherwise known as SV. Now, the two technologies are very different. Well, synthetic vision is just that. It's a synthetic depiction of terrain, obstacle, and landscape features. The MaxViz product from Oregon-based Astronics is a live moving image of the outside environment. The MaxViz EVS 600 product uses a long wave infrared sensor and a visible light camera, usually mounted on the underside of the aircraft wing. Now, the 600 EVS relies on an infrared sensor to produce the image of heat signatures off the Earth, and then the low light camera enhances it. Then there's software that processes and fuses the two images into one, and then it's displayed on a cockpit display. Yes, infrared sensor is effective in low visibility and darkness, but it does have some limitations. It won't see through fog or thick clouds. It starts at about $18,000, and it's available as an option on many G1000 equipped airplanes, including the Cirrus SR20 and 22, and all of the new Cessna models. It's also available for retrofit in every Cessna single engine model out there, except for the P210. Now, the external sensor, which weighs about a pound, has a built-in heater for heating the sensor's window when flying in icing. It's got a fixed field of view of about 40 degrees wide and 30 degrees in the vertical. Now, the display monochrome resolution of the EVS image is 320 by 240 pixels. Now, that's not great compared to what you might be accustomed to with most modern cockpit displays and even flat screen televisions. Now, you don't need a G1000 display for displaying the EVS image. Any MFD that accepts a RS-170 coaxial aux video input, including the Garmin G500-600 MFD, FD, PFD will work. There's also a variety of aftermarket portable monitors, and the system is known to work with the new AVMAP EKP series portable GPS, plus a variety of other EFBs. Let's go fly into some darkness and see how that EVS image looks on a G1000 display. So we're here over the uh, Berkshires in western Massachusetts in a new Cirrus SR-22 with the EVS-600 system with Cirrus's Cliff Allen flying into the darkness so we can see the EVS-600. Uh, Cliff, can you tell us what we're seeing here on the screen of the uh, uh, Garmin Perspective G-1000? The white line here is our horizon line, and if we can just kind of imagine bringing that right across, we can see where the horizon is as we look uh, forward. There's no clouds ahead of us. If we had any clouds, we'd start to see those before us, but we really have a clear night. So we just have the heat signature off the earth below us and the, uh, just a pure, clear black sky, which is pretty much what we're looking at as we were to look up. Got four Tango Whiskey, turn right heading 150. Right to 150, four Tango Whiskey. Get set up for vectors for an approach uh, to see what it looks like. See if we can get some lead-in lights. This is the way I like to set up for my if I'm flying an instrument approach at night. So I'll have my map on on this page. One click of the big knob takes me to my approach plate. I've got the approach plate scaled to where I've got my plan view, my vertical, and my missed approach. I can see them all in one place. One more click over, and I've got my my EVS camera. What I'll do is I'll fly the approach either on this map or the flight plan map, once I reach the the final approach fix, then I'll go to my camera, and inside the final approach fix, I'm using the camera, and I'll be looking for the signature for the lead-in lights, for the runway, to help me with my situational awareness. And if I'm at three or 400 feet, I can start to pick up ground signatures. I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm going to be able to make the approach, but if I'm at three or 400 feet AGL, and I'm still seeing solid white, probably not going to make it, I'm going to start thinking about a missed approach at that point. So Cliff, the uh, EVS system is even helpful on the ground. What are we seeing here as we taxi? We're on Taxiway Charlie here at Pittsfield, and you can see the taxiway and even the paint line is warmer. So we're picking up heat from the runway. We're picking up these trees here in the back. Because they're warm, they're glowing. Then you can see the taxiway lights here. This is a mix of where we're using the visible light. This will reboot. The visible light and the infrared light is both sensors are picking up this image, and then the software is combining both images to give us this uh, the the overlay the images. You can even see some cloud here in the sky that we can't, if we look up, we can't see it, but we can see it here because of the heat signature from the infrared. 
For a full report on the MaxViz EVS, you can read the April 2014 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Aguasano. Thanks for watching.